Hey guys, haven't done an update in a while, uh, but since uh, last video I've started getting into aquaponic mushrooms. Here's some bulk substrate, uh, some hardwood logs, uh, I'm sorry, hardwood fuel pellets and some straw bale that I'll be using to make more mushrooms. And this is a still air box that I made from a plastic tote. So it's a gorgeous day today, a little bit chilly. It looks like we're at around 46 or so degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I've been growing mushrooms now in the greenhouse. And I thought I'd give you guys an update. They've been harvested, so you won't be able to see them, but I will post pictures of the mushrooms. Uh, here we are indoors. It looks like around 90 degrees or so. Here are some of the pepper plants, uh, peach ghost scorpions. I was getting a little bit of what I think is blight, these little brown spots, so I pushed back the humidity tent to give them a little bit more air. Here is the algae biofilter cranking away. Uh, fish tank water looks wonderful. There is the flood and drain grow bed of the, of the aquaponics mushroom bed that's dumping. And over here, here, I have another experiment which is trying to grow uh, these these lines made mushroom inside of a uh, mint grow bed. So the block is just sitting on top of the uh, grow bed there and it looks like the mushrooms are providing uh, air exchange with the plants. You can see they look pretty good and this is actually the second flush so I've already gotten one flush off of them. Uh, this grow bed right here is empty right now but I've gotten uh, two harvests of um, aquaponic oyster mushrooms from this grow bed and I'm hoping for a third flush. Last night I flooded the bed uh, for 24 hours so, so the bed is soaked and I'm hoping that that will induce uh, another flush or so. After that I'm going to convert this bed into a wicking bed. Uh, here is the parameters in outside the, the greenhouse and as you can see uh, the temperature is picked up here up into the 80s it gets down into the 40s at night uh, this is going to be another experiment I'm going to put a, a bale of straw here and see if I can get the whole entire bale to colonize with oyster mushrooms here is some more bulk substrate it's just plant waste that I use to grow the mushrooms on and here we have the the moringa tree which is uh, overwintering right now and it looks like it still has a little bit of uh, some new growth. Here is the pawpaw plant or pawpaw tree that that, uh, that I, I found in the wild and seems to be doing very well and here is an onion plant and this is the dead fish club these are some uh, baby channel catfish um, that had died because they got sucked up through the geyser pump since then, I put a filter on the bottom of the geyser pump to keep that from occurring. Uh, that's pretty much it, and I'll keep you guys posted. And on the video, I'll also include some photos of the harvested mushrooms. Thanks a lot.